Hello everyone, welcome to this video about mosquito nets distribution in my community. Before I go further, I'd wish to give some information about malaria in Uganda. Malaria is a life-threatening disease that is transmitted typically by a bite of an infected female Anopheles mosquito. After an infected Anopheles mosquito bites a human being, it introduces the parasites into the body and they move to the liver where they mature from. From the liver, they enter the bloodstream and they infect our red blood cells. Within the red blood cells, malaria parasites multiply and they burst the red blood cells. So during that time, uh, that is when a patient gets signs and symptoms uh, like fever, headache, joint pains, muscle pains. And sometimes I've seen patients uh, with GIT manifestations like vomiting and diarrhea. Now, malaria kills very many people but I've seen it uh, very dangerous in pregnant women, children below five, and people with other underlying diseases, or generally people who are immunosuppressed. So uh, we are targeting that population. Uh, that's why as we moved, we ensured that uh, we told people about this disease are the people who are at risk and we encouraged the families that receive the mosquito nets to prioritize uh, those people in that group. Uganda has some of the highest burden of malaria cases with over 90% of the population at risk and by the way malaria remains Uganda's leading cause of death, especially in children. It is responsible for about 30 to 50 percent of all the people who come for treatment as outpatient. That means people who can walk and it is responsible for about 15 to 20 percent of the people that we admit. Uh, that means the disease is really dangerous and as I'm recording this video or as I'm making a voiceover it's night and I'm hearing a lot of mosquitoes uh, so this is something that is very serious that we need to deal with and we make sure that people are safe that's why uh, we distributed the mosquito nets taught people how to use them, taught people about malaria. Uh, we did not only end on the mosquito nets, but we also taught people about other methods of prevention, uh, like people clearing their bushes where they're sleeping, removing uh, things like broken pots, bottles that are empty, where water can collect and then that will act as a breeding site for mosquitoes. Uh, we taught people to fill the holes around their home and we also talked about careful selection of the site of construction so that people should like avoid the areas that are heavily infested by mosquitoes. We hope that uh, these interventions will really help and that they will try to bring the burden, uh, like they will try to reduce the malaria burden. So as you can see in the video, we met several people in different uh, villages and the uh, children, men, women, all of them were very attentive and they were very grateful of what we did. 
We also have an ongoing fundraising for the construction of the mill house where we want to produce flour for the Manash children and other people who are immunosuppressed. Kindly check it out. This is the last place uh, where we are giving out the mosquito nets today. We've been able to move to several places. We've taught people about how they can prevent themselves from getting malaria. We've taught them about how they can use the mosquito nets properly. And we've discussed other health-related problems or challenges. And uh, we've answered people's questions. And today, that is where we've been able to stop. So uh, we've been able to give about 1,500 mosquito nets, but we hope to get more and we add in the future in case the funds are available. Uh, so I just want to thank all the people outside there who always watch my videos, all the people who are subscribing, commenting, and sharing the work that we are always doing. I love you all. See you in the next video.